Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on different chassis types. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. This video is going to be a focus on specifically the different types of R330 chassis. And really, there's three types of chassis, and we're going to focus on the two primary ones that we sell, which are the most prevalent ones in the market. Uh, that's going to be the four bay large form factor and the eight bay small form factor. Both of those are hot swap. The third type is a four bay cabled, where the hard drives are just cabled in the front and everything else is uh, basically the same as the uh, the four bay hot swap, minus just the drives being um, hot swap. <laughs> uh, but really the ones that we focus on are the two hot swap chassis, and that's what's most prevalent in the market, so that's what we're gonna cover here today, okay? So really, what are the differences? What's the difference between the two, the two chassis? It's the storage. Really, the storage is the difference um, using a small form factor or using large form factor. Um, when we break this whole chassis down, you're going to see there's a point where everything is literally the same on the back, all the ports, uh, the power supplies, the um, RAM, the CPUs, the NIC, the, I mean everything is the same. So literally the only difference is, is this, this part forward. It's going to be uh, the back planes a little bit further back on the 4 bay because the 3.5 inch stick out a little bit more. Um, and then you have two SAS cables over here for the 8 bay because there's double the drives. That's really the only difference is everything else is the same, storage is the difference. Um, the location of some of the ports on the front is different. Uh, for instance, the um, uh, optical drive is here versus here. I mean, just some very minor differences, but in essence, the exact same thing, it just comes down to storage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a, a good just general overview of the system, right? Where we'll show you all the, uh, the insides, the guts of the machine. Then we're gonna stack them on top of each other so you can see uh, the front and the back of each and really just compare them side by side because that's the best way way to do it. So let's just go ahead and hop into the inside. All right, so I have pulled up both chassis, the 8-bay small form factor hot swap and the 4-bay large form factor. I'm going to open them both up and show you the guts of both of them side by side because I figured, hey, that's the best way to actually compare them, right? So we're just going to pop both latches off at one time, lift the two lids, put them to the side. In essence, explained earlier is that pretty much everything from this point on is the exact same. The motherboard, the air baffle, the risers, the number of fans. Uh, this one technically has the, uh, the SD card reader. It would fit right over here as well. The redundant power supplies, the iDRAC port, the uh, RAID PCIe slot over here. Uh, everything is literally the exact same from this point on, uh, with the exception of the fact that there's only one SAS cable coming to the RAID card for the four bay versus there's two over here that we'd kind of talked about, the A and the B versus just the A. And we highlight that in the actual RAID video in this series. But that's really uh, the, the heart of the system and it's all the same back here. So again, what are the differences? It comes up to the storage up here. You'll see that the, the back plane for the four bay because the 3.5 inch drive is just longer is actually set back a little bit further. And that's why there's more dead space over here in the uh, eight bay because the 2.5 inches are just smaller. So uh, really that's the only difference. And they made the chassis actually the same length. Um, and then that's the difference is that dead space in your back plane uh, and then just the front interface of how things are connected. So uh, for instance, the optical drive is flip flopped uh, on each side. The buttons on the front, which we'll show you in a minute, are you know in different places. Uh, but realistically, it's it's just a storage difference is the difference, which is honestly in, in most cases for the chassis, the big, big difference. Um, sometimes there might be one accepts NV and me and one doesn't for you know different series, but as a whole for the R330, it's literally just a storage uh, functionality difference and some differences in locations for your uh, ports and your buttons. So let's go ahead and show you a front uh, face by face comparison. All right, so here is a front face by face comparison. Uh, so you'll notice obviously the eight small form factor versus the four bay large form factor. And if you're not familiar with that terminology, small form factor is 2.5 inch and large form factor is 3.5 inch. And then you'll notice as we mentioned, 
uh, your ports as a whole are just kind of flip-flopped around so you have your USB ports uh, you if you want to get into your display or to your monitor uh, even just like the power buttons everything's just a little bit off uh, where you have your optical drive uh, versus um, over here for the optical drive so everything's just a, a, a little bit flip-flopped uh, not a huge huge deal by any means but those are just some of the, the minor differences uh, and it's just specifically because when you add in the um, the different drives and the location you have to just kind of uh, re-engineer the front to make everything the same but really that is the heart of the difference for the, uh, the R330 and we'll go ahead and we'll show you the back as well so that you can see the back is literally the exact same. Alright so this will be pretty easy to go over. Here's the backs. They're the exact same. <laughs> uh, you got your dual power supplies. Uh, you can have either 350 watt or 550 watt. Make sure that they're the same. They're hot swap. Uh, you have your PCIe slots. Uh, you have your NIC card, your iDRAC. Uh, I mean, everything is literally the exact same. But I wanted to highlight it because I wanted you to see that uh, kind of like we talked about everything, you know, the back roughly two-thirds of the chassis is the same. And it goes back to the storage and thought, you know, hey, this would be a good just general overview of the chassis as a, as a whole so you could see everything in more detail. And I uh, hope it was helpful, helpful for you guys at home. Uh, and if you found it uh, useful, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers yourself, hey, email us at sales at cloudengine.com. We custom build both new and used. Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. Uh, we can uh, white box build for you guys if you want. Uh, AMD Ryzen's, AMD Epics, Intel Scalable. Uh, and we'd love to earn your business. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.